In this video, we want to learn one of the advanced factoring techniques adding and subtracting suitable term. Look at these two examples x to the 4 plus x to the 2 plus 1, x to the 4 plus 5x to the 2 plus 6. If you attention, these are trinomials. And so maybe you think that these are trinomials, we can factor them. Let us start with the second example x to the 4 plus 5x to the 2 plus 6. In this example, we are looking for two numbers that their product is 6, their sum is 5. The two numbers that their product is 6, their sum is 5 are 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 plus 3 is 5. So immediately we understand that we can factor this in the form of, we put two bracket. Because we have x2 and x4, we are not going to put x here because x times x is x2, but we want x4. So we put x2 in each bracket and then plus 2 and plus 3 and this is the factor form of this expression here but if we try this method for the other example it doesn't work because if you try to find two numbers that their product is 1 and what is coefficient here? 1 can you find two numbers that their product is 1 and their sum is 1? two numbers that their product is 1 can be 1, 1 well, but 1 plus 1 is 2, is not 1, or negative 1, negative 1, but the sum is not 1 again. So if you try, you cannot find any numbers, any two numbers, that their product is 1, their sum is 1. So this method doesn't work. Here we need a little advanced technique for factoring this. The thing that can help you to figure out adding and subtracting a suitable term may help to factor the expression is this this is a thing that can help look at these two terms x4 and 1 these two are complete squares x4 is basically x2 to the 2 and 1 is also 1 to the 2 this is something that can help us to guess that maybe the adding and subtracting suitable term may help so x2 to the 2 is a complete square because x2 is raised to the 2 and 1 is of course 1 to the 2 is a complete square number now this is the thing that we think about we want to write this expression as a perfect square as a something plus another thing to the power of 2 but this is a perfect square x4 which is again x2 to the 2 let me write this in this form x4 is x2 to the 2 plus x2 plus 1 this is a perfect square if x2 times 1 times 2 gives you the middle term x2 times 1 is x2 but times by 2 is 2x2 but here we have only 1x2 but we need 2x2 remember a perfect square when we have a plus b to the 2 it's a2 b2 what is the middle term 2ab not ab a times by b times by extra 2 so in the middle we have to have 2ab but we don't have 2ab in the middle so all of these things help us to guess that adding and subtracting a suitable term may help us to factor this let me show you how this technique works first we write this in the form of x2 to the 2 plus x2 plus 1 then i am going to add 1x2 to this expression adding and subtracting we add 1x2 to this expression we leave x4 here because we add 1x2 to this it will be 2x2 plus 1 we group these three terms and then we subtract x2 adding we added 1x2 to this expression we got this because we added we have to subtract to cancel 
that extra term that we added to the expression so basically this expression is the same as before if it's simplified you can get the same expression as the original expression now the expression inside the bracket is a perfect square the expression inside the bracket can be written as x2 plus 1 to the 2 this expression is a perfect square this is x2 plus 1 to the 2 x2 to the 2 would give you this term 1 to the 2 would give you 1 and finally 2 times ab 2 times x2 times 1 2 times this times this would give you the middle term so the expression inside the bracket can be written as this minus x2 don't forget you have a minus x2 here maybe we think that okay but this is not factored yet yes but now remember the difference of a square's identity remember a2 minus b2 is a minus b times a plus b now we use this identity to factor this this is a to the 2 minus b to the 2 now we can factor it and write this in the form of a minus b x2 plus 1 minus x times x2 plus 1 plus x again this is a minus b a minus b then a plus b and as you can see it is now factored it's better to write this answer in this form x2 minus x plus 1 it's the same but it's better to write it this way x2 plus x plus 1 First we write x2, then we write x, and then 1. We prefer to write the polynomial in descending order, from the highest power to the lowest power. This is the factor form of this expression. We use this technique in advanced math courses like the calculus course. When you want to factor rational expressions with a denominator like this, you should be able to use these type of techniques look at this example x4 plus 4y4 immediately again we notice that okay we have x2 to the 2 this is perfect square 2y2 to the 2 is a perfect square so we think to adding and subtracting something to this expression what is that thing the thing the expression the term that we have to add and subtract should be twice of the product of these two twice of the product of these two x2 times 2y2 is 2x2 y2 but twice of that so times by this y2 so we are going to add and subtract 4x2 y2 so we add and we subtract 4x2 y2 x2 to the 2 plus 2y2 to the 2 we add 4x2 y2 and we subtract 4x2 y2 this bracket can be written as x2 plus 2y2 all to the 2 and then we have to write minus 4x2y2 now again we use the difference of a square's identity and we write this in the form of x2 plus 2y2 minus 2xy then x2 plus 2y2 plus 2xy and this is the factored form of this expression at first this seems that it's really impossible to factor this but with this advanced technique you can factor this expression which seems impossible to be factored look at this example a4 plus a2 b2 plus b4 again we have a4 b4 these are perfect squares and that middle term should be the product of these two so first we we'll write this in the form of a2 to the 2 and we leave a2 b2 here and b2 to the 2 in the middle we have to have twice of the product of these two 
a2 times b2 is a2 b2 but we need twice of that two times this so we have to add one a2 b2 and we have to subtract that of course because already we have one a2 b2 but we need two a2 b2 because we need two we have to add and subtract one a2 b2 so we leave a2 to the two we add one a2 b2 so we have two a2 b2 plus b2 to the two because to this one a2 b2 we added one we subtract that one two a2 b2 minus a2 b2 would be again this so basically we are not changing anything just we are adding and subtracting a suitable term now this bracket here can be written as a2 plus b2 all to the 2 attention if you raise this to the 2 it would be this a2 to the 2 a4 b2 to the 2 b4 and 2 times the product of these 2 would be the middle minus a squared b squared with the aim of difference of a square's identity we can write this as a2 plus b2 minus a b a2 plus b2 plus a b what happens from here to here for writing this we take a square root of this the power 2 with radical cancels we get this a square root of this would give you a b and the similar way you can get the other bracket this is the factored form of a4 plus a2 b2 plus b4 now let me show you one more example 36x to the 4 plus 15x to the 2 plus 4 again immediately we notice that 36x to the 4 is 6x2 to the 2 and 4 is 2 to the 2 we expect what to have here twice of the product of these two 2 times 6x to the 2 is 12x to the 2 twice of that would be 24x to the 2 but only we have 15x to the 2 we need 24x to the 2 so what we have to add and subtract 9x to the 2 15x to the 2 plus 9x to the 2 would be 24x to the 2 so we write this in the form of 6x to the 2 all to the 2 plus because we need 24x to the 2 we add 9x to the 2 and then we have 24x to the 2 because we added 9x to the 2 to the 15x to the 2 we have to subtract at the end and 9x to the 2 and don't forget you have a 4 which is 2 to the 2 we make these three terms a group and we leave the 9x to the 2 outside please pay attention 24x to the 2 minus 9x to the 2 is again 15x to the 2 we didn't change anything in this question we wrote it in a way that we can factor it look at the bracket this bracket here this big bracket can be written as 6x to the 2 plus 2 to the 2 this term to the 2 is this 2 to the 2 is this and twice of the product of these 2 would give you the middle term minus 9x to the 2 and attention 9x to the 2 can be written simply as 3x to the 2 now based on the difference of a square's identity we have 6x to the 2 plus 2 minus 3x 6x to the 2 plus 2 plus 3x which is better to be written in the form of 6x to the 2 minus 3x plus 2 6x to the 2 plus 3x plus 2 this is the better way to write the final answer i hope by watching this video you have learned about this technique this is a little advanced technique but it's very useful for factoring expressions which other methods doesn't work then maybe this method works and you can factor expressions